The impeachment inquiry is moving forward this week with the House Intelligence, Foreign Affairs and Oversight Committee is set to hear testimony from several important figures. Meanwhile, the political rhetoric is heating up in Washington. A second whistleblower from the intelligence community has come forward alleging wrongdoing by President Trump in his dealings with Ukraine. That's according to the lawyer who now represents two unnamed intelligence officials and as BOA's Michael Sullivan reports, allegations of corruption are now flying in both directions. Trump says he's concerned about corruption in Ukraine, possibly involving the Democratic frontrunner in the 2020 presidential campaign, Joe Biden, whose son, Hunter, had business dealings in a company that was under investigation in Ukraine. Trump asked the Ukrainian president to look into the matter in a phone call critics say was aimed at getting dirt on arrival in exchange for nearly $400 million in U.S. aid. An intelligence official complained, and another is said to have complained to Inspector General Michael Atkinson. Comes from the most corrupt president we've had in modern history. He's the definition of corruption. Trump calls the investigation a witch hunt by leading Democrats in Congress, including Adam Schiff, chairman of the House Intelligence Committee. Uh, this is a uh, fraudulent crime on the American people, but we'll work together with Shifty Shift and uh, Pelosi and all of them. Trump says he's the one uncovering wrongdoing. I don't care about Biden's campaign, but I do care about corruption. Democrats say the president betrayed his oath of office. The administration, without justification, withheld $391 million in military aid from a vulnerable Ukraine. The president then pressured a foreign leader to interfere in the 2020 elections and target an American citizen for political gain. That is textbook abuse of power. Utah Senator Mitt Romney, a rare Trump critic among Republicans, calls the unfolding drama troubling. Another Republican says Trump is just doing his job. I think when the president is trying to make sure that there is not corruption, that if we're going to be sending the hard-earned tax dollars of the American people to Ukraine to help them fight Russia, to help them get their country moving in the direction they need, to get the security assistance they need, I think he believes that we should make sure there's not corruption there. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo was drawn into the controversy after saying he took part in Trump's call with the Ukrainian president. And texts from several U.S. diplomats revealed they were involved behind the scenes. Mike O'Sullivan, VOA News, Los Angeles.